Welcome everybody. In this video I want to talk about this example which is a humanoid robot but with an interesting twist and what this might have to do with NEO's potential entry in the robotics space. So in my last video I mentioned how there are signs that NEO is actually getting in that space and I think it makes a lot of sense. By the way in the meantime we did have a lot of um, traction on that topic and um, frankly I've been uh, more active again on LinkedIn. I'm not always using this platform but if so if you're there please feel free to connect uh, with my profile here. You find me uh, via my name Marcel Munch and um, yeah I'm posting sometimes interesting stuff whenever I see it like this one. Um, so what are we seeing here? Well it's a clip of a new startup in China that is well not doing the humanoid robot. That's the most important part here. Um, this is actually doing the software. So the robot that you see inside the video here acting um, like a normal household robot um, is the Unit 3 G1. So that's very affordable, available, mass-produced hardware from China. One of the robotics maker that um, yeah everybody knows already by now by the name. I mean more recently we also had Xpeng pretty prominent with a very very successful marketing campaign around the iron robot right um, the way it worked very human like and uh, the fact that nobody believed that it's real um, was I think a, a huge uh, huge success by Xpeng so you know uh, where it's due we need to congratulate them they are doing a fantastic job currently as also the CEO of pushing that narrative but um, you know I said like Neo might be a late follower in that regard and that's not actually a bad thing necessarily because I think this industry still is not mature and um, we don't know exactly which layer is going to win and in which way and so that is why this example here is super interesting. These are former Tencent robotics X engineers that have uh, founded it and basically what I'm working on is just a software stack so you could Imagine it like being the own AI brain that you're training um, but you are putting it on an, another computer right in this regard on another device. The device here is the robot. So it's a it's a teaching this robot of another manufacturer to perform this household task and by the way it looks pretty neat to me. Um, we have to assume that this is all real and um, you know not AI generated and stuff. I know there is always a lot of uh, skepticism out there especially when it comes to the Chinese but um, I was laughing a lot about those people who said the Xpeng robot is not real. Um, there is much more real out of China that, than people would think. But anyways coming back to NEO right um, at some point they may actually enter this industry and I thought like they may want to have a different angle um, and not possibly copy the approach of everybody else like Tesla or Xiaopeng or others in that space building their own robots and then showing you know some progress on how good is the hand, um, how good are the household applications and that sort of things or how good can they dance and walk uh, you know which these companies are now sh showing off and talking about. I think Xpeng on the front there showing off a lot, Tesla more talking about but not showing everything yet and then there's Neo not talking not showing right. And so I think you know that might be a very viable way for NEO as well to not actually or maybe just partly participate in actual um, manufacturing of this device but rather building on the software stack on bringing for example the NEO world modeled NWM um, onto other devices. It's exactly how, what I said before like Nomi needs to, needs to get a new body in a sense. It needs to move out of the car whether or not that's a smartphone whether or not that's a humanoid robot or another type of robot right this could be a logistics robot uh, robot at some point maybe um, but the important part here could be the software and the way it interacts uh, I think what I would expect from somebody like Neo is that it's really catered towards maybe something which they have pioneered earlier like battery swapping maybe something in the logistics area or maybe something more towards the lifestyle area where maybe others like Xpeng and so on might ra might rather move into the um, you know manufacturing space of helping companies um, build cars and stuff like that. Yeah. So 
Um, I think there's a very viable, unique way how Neo could tackle that. And um, I think that's something I'm expecting for 2026 to be uh, more announced uh, or where we get more details. I think for Neo, it's not, a, not the time to talk about that. But yeah, this is why I highlighted this little example here and why I found this very interesting. And uh, yeah, what I also mentioned here, like uh, the political level, right? Um, nobody's trusting the Chinese bots at some point, but uh, if they come white label and you can basically load your US software onto it or your Euro European software, that would be amazing. Um, then it might s struggle less with politics, with, um, you know, uh, regulations, uh, compliance matters and all of that. So that would be a smart way. I hope Neo is working on that. Just a moonshot here. What do you think? Thanks for watching. See you in my next videos.